So how good is this skinny coax RG316? Well, you know what? Let's find out today on the K9AT YouTube channel. So I've set up a test radio, my ICOM IC705, and I'm on 10 meters, 29.6, and I'm gonna be transmitting FM so I can have a constant uh, 10 watts out of the radio. And so I've got my MFJ watt meter hooked up to my Drake, good old trusty Drake uh, dummy load. And let's see what the power output is. Okay, uh, just about 10 watts, 9.8. And the SWR was one to one. So with that as a base, so let's test out from my radio running FM on 10 meters with a 50 foot piece of LMR 240 into the watt meter into the dummy load. And let's see what the loss is. Remember that value was 9.8. Let's see what the loss is after 50 feet of LMR 240. Okay, eh, probably about two watts, a little less than two watts. It's now reading 8.4 or 8.04. Okay, so now let's test the very convenient small RG316 cable. And this is a 50 foot piece. So let's see what the loss is. Ooh, 5.8. So we lost like three watts. So we started out with 10 watts are actually 9.8 and we're eh, 5.8. So probably like uh, four watts. Now for a shorter length of RG316. So this is 25 feet and the other one is 50 feet. So with 25 feet, let's see what the loss uh, is. Okay, uh, 7.8. So, you know, you need to uh, decide, you know, is the loss worth the convenience of carrying smaller coax? And obviously when you're doing QRP, you want to get the losses uh, to a minimum. But, you know, if you are running like an 891 with this uh, more compact cable, so it's, uh, you know, food for thought. Well, anyways, I thought this uh, would be a short video to uh, show the losses because the um, reading the DB gain on a spec sheet comparing cables, you know, that, that uh, isn't as meaningful as seeing the losses in real time on a watt meter. So that's what I was trying to convey in this video. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.